Hey, aloha. Welcome to the Friday Marketing Jam Session. I'm Tom Gaddis, my business partner, Nick Ponte, on here with me as well. Excited to have you guys here. We got a great live show lined up for you today. Today, we're going to be talking about automation, but not, you know, a lot of times we talk about outsourcing and different things like that. Today, we're going to be talking about different software tools, one that we've been talking about a lot this week in our emails specifically. We're going to go over that. We're going to take your questions. We're going to talk local marketing. It's going to be an all-around good time. We're going to do some shout-outs. It'll be fun. I'm going to queue up the intro, and we'll see you back here in one momento. It's now time, the moment you've been waiting for. Get ready for the fastest 60 minutes of marketing strategies and tactics to build your remote empire from anywhere in the world. After 167 agonizing hours, they've finally returned. From the sun-soaked Sin City and the sandy shores of Maui, Hawaii, now back for a brand new Aloha Marketing Jam session. It's your hosts, the offline sharks and remote millionaires, Tom Gaddis and Nick Ponte. They are fired up out there. That's great. Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Yeah, wow! Just, just, just settle down. Just settle down already. I Jeez! <laughs> I know. I'm glad they're fired up. You know, I've been yeah. sick this week, so I finally started to feel better yesterday. But man, today I just feel wiped. I don't feel yeah. sick anymore. But whew, that's how it was for me, man. I, I'm telling you, like, I it, it was a it sucked in the beginning, but then it was like a delay to even getting worse. <laughs> So <laughs> there's more coming. <laughs> well, I feel better. I just feel tired. It's crazy. Awesome. Yeah. Well, welcome everybody who's out there in the crowd today. Let's take a look. We got Richie Cronin. What's up, Richie. Sharky Shark? Patty Ritalski, welcome. I see Zach Smoose. I see a Facebook user. You can log into StreamYard and get him permission. We can see your names. Uh, let's see, James, Russell, Enrique, look at all those people in there, Michael, Bruce, Jeff, welcome everybody, welcome. Oh, somebody says aloha from the Philippines, huh? aloha, aloha, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so that was pretty much my week, was uh, not feeling great, and then uh, <laughs> tons of family stuff going on. Sophie yeah, had- I saw Sophie was in uh, the uh, symphony. Yeah, she had her, oh, that's her honors band. So she's in two things. She's in the Las Vegas Youth Symphony Orchestra, and she made honors band. So uh, that thing on Wednesday was her, or Thursday was her honors band. That was her honors band concert, and they did great. She did an awesome job. Nice. And then Paige has been busy at school and getting ready for her driver's test. So... Wow. Yep. Lots of lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff. <clears throat> Things lots are stuff. changing. Yep. They're gonna be mobile. Cool. Yep. Awesome. How about you? What have, what have what have you had going on this week? It's been busy at the agency, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just really been uh you know, doubling down. And, you know, and there are a lot of people here that were on our remote millionaires call yesterday. Uh we've had a, a new hire, a lot of training. A lot of new clients we picked up. So just this morning, I, I made a post in the group. We picked up a new audit, you know, professional service industry audit, which I mentioned, I, I teased about our professional service product coming out. Uh, and it just so happens we, we got an audit today, which is great because, you know, an audit, as we know, is usually just our foot in the door to some recurring re service. So we got the, uh, we, we did an audit. Uh, we got a new client. It's about $5,000 a month Google ads client. And so, you know, I've been, I've been really working on revising standard operating procedures, updating standard operating procedures, making sure that all of our clients are, you know, getting what they pay for to really help with that retention because we're getting so many new sales that would not be good if we just let those sales go to waste, you know, sales do nothing if the people don't stay. And so they stay because we have good, we deliver a good service, but then that 
journey that they're on is they get the results they're looking for, but then our team is also, you know, really proactive in helping them make that, make sure they feel that value of, of our service. So lots yeah, of that. You know, oh, <clears throat> well, go ahead. I was going to say, I wanted to unpack a couple of things you said there. Cause I think it's super important. Like number one, I think a, a, a really good thing that you bring up there that I just want to mention is that like, like getting like the, getting the clients, which seems to be the most difficult thing right in the beginning is really just like the tip of the iceberg, the first steps into the journey, right? Like I know I used to kind of had this, uh, I don't know if it was a, an illusion or a delusion that, yeah, you get some clients and then it's all see easy sailing from there. Right. But the reality is like you get the clients and now you're, and especially when you're new, you know, you're working out your processes, your systems, you're getting better at delivering the services and, you know, the advantage to the way that we build a digital agency, you know, by using outsourcing and software tools, which we're going to talk a little bit about today, is that you have to have time to be able to do that. Like if you're just frantically trying to bring in clients and get more clients and do all that stuff, like you don't have time to, to fo focus on quality of work and those types of things. And so like you have to, you, you know, you want to be setting things up in a way where, you can do that, right? So I guess that's just a long-winded way of saying that the journey never ends, right? There's no, uh, I used to think like, oh, six figures is the finish line. Well, six figures is not the finish line. Like there's more things after that. So it's like the, you're on this journey and that's the commitment you make, right? We're on this journey. This is the job. This is the only job. I said it last week, right? This is the job this is the only job. So regardless of whether that's trying to bring a new business, trying to keep existing business, just trying to make your overall process better, trying to remove yourself more from the business so you can focus on those things, like all of that stuff comes in. So, you know, uh, it's just, it's good to just realize that from the get go, when you're making this commitment to build this digital agency, that like this is an ongoing thing, right? It's, it's going to be, uh, uh, an ongoing process. There's, there's always going to be things to do, even when you think, You've hit that point of like, oh, now it's going to be easy selling. Typically, that's not the case. Now, there's a difference, right? There's a difference in the way you feel when you're uh, steering the ship of a business that has clients and is successful. You have a different feeling. It's not so, um, that's what I'm looking for. It's not, like, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, it's it a very different feeling. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it can still be stressful, right? Because you have new stress, oh right? Just like different new, types of stress. It never yeah, ends. You have, you have new stresses because you've got a team. You've got like people that depend on you. You're, you know, you're trying to manage all these things. A lot of times, as in our situation, like we're figuring all of this stuff out as we go, right? Like Nick nor I owned any businesses before all this stuff. So like you, as you, um, as you get going, like you're still trying to like level up your skills and learn new things and get better and, well, where is my weakness now? And, you know, in the beginning, maybe it's getting clients, but pretty soon you're like, oh, well, we can get clients, but now my weakness is, you know, just staying disciplined and, and, and working on delivering the quality services, that kind of stuff. So that's the first thing, right? It's an ongoing process. The second thing I wanted to break down a little bit was you said you ha have an, an audit. So was this a PPC audit? No, it's a website audit. It's so, a, so it was just a website. Search, so maybe basically. you can tell people a little bit about like, what does that audit entail? Oh man, I don't know if I want to give them all the secrets. Well, you don't have to give all of it. <laughs> I'm but just like, kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> man, you're really putting me on the spot here, <laughs> Tom. Uh, yes. I'll, one final thing I want to say on what you mentioned too, is like, that's what we're signing up for though, right? Your life as an entrepreneur, as a business owner will never, ever be what it was when you were a person working for somebody else where you just came in, you did your job and you left. Like when you sign up to be a business owner, an entrepreneur, like there will always be a next level and you are going to have to make that decision every time you reach the next level, if you want to go to the next one and continue and continue and need to do. And it's a, it's, a, it is a roller coaster. It can be, you know, there are different levels. Like, well, it's interesting because you, you just said there, you have to make the decision if you want to go to the next level, which is interesting because like, I know maybe a lot of people on this call think like, I just want to get as big as I can. Right. And we thought that way, didn't we? We thought that way. <laughs> oh, we have been, uh, we have been making uh, like decisions to not 
I'm getting bigger. <laughs> the naive, the naivete, right? Is that how you say it? We were so we mm. were so young and green back then, Nick. Mm, <laughs> like, yeah. sky's the limit, baby. And it's like pretty soon you're going, oh well. Uh, what's that old saying that everybody always says? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Yeah. Right. Like that's a a, a, a little kind of a saying. Is the juice worth the squeeze? And um, it's interesting because you think, oh man, I'll never get to that point. But then all of a sudden you find yourself going, well. I mean, for me, like what I have found myself doing is reevaluating like really what success looks like for me. Like what what like what is it that really, you know, because you can get caught up in just the next level, the next level, the next level, the next level, the next level. And you never really feel fulfilled because you're always like, oh, well, yeah, like we always talk about this, how we don't really celebrate a lot of big wins because we're like, oh, the next thing is this. And the next thing is that. And it's like, well, like where, what does that look like for you? And I've been thinking about this a lot lately, as I said, in regards to myself, because, you know, as somebody who got started late in life, right? So I didn't really uh, get started with the full effort and concentration of building a business and doing my own thing until I was over 40. Like, How old were you when you made your first million, Tom? Just tell them. <laughs> so it's like those, like now I think, well, part of that process, especially if you get started late, like I did is really redefining well, like, well, what does actual success look like for you? And that doesn't say you shouldn't strive for those things. Like, man, I would like to strive for those things. Right. But you know, there's a point where you go, Oh, well maybe, right. Like, maybe you're doing all the stuff and you realize like, oh, you know what success really looks like for me is like, I like a business that does a certain amount that allows me to live a comfortable lifestyle that allows me to do the things I want to do and provide the things I want to provide for my family. And I, and, and it runs in a way that's not like super stressful. Right. So you start to reevaluate like, okay, well, yeah, maybe I need to work in my agency every day. But boy, that sure the hell beats going into a restaurant and working five, six days a week, 55, 60 hours a week, right? Like that that kind of like perspective of like, oh, well, you know, and I know we talked about this in the beginning as like, well, if this is as good as it gets, am I going to be okay, right? Like if we try to grab that next level thing and we don't get it or whatever, like, am I still okay with where I'm at today? And so, you know, I spend a lot of time thinking about that stuff and making sure that I'm okay with that stuff. And I've even said in the past, like for me, the, the very, very first uh, mindset shift I had to have in obtaining success was the realization that where I was at was, was good. Like I had a healthy family. I had... I had a lot, like, I didn't have the money, but I didn't have, a, like, I was okay. You know what I mean? Like, I, like as I started to get a little bit of traction, and even though it was a struggle and all that stuff, like, I was okay with that. Like, this is pretty good. If it doesn't get any better than this, like, I'm probably okay with doing that in the long term. And sometimes I think you lose sight of that when you're, you know, you're trying to uh, get going and move to the next thing and move to the next thing. And you have to just take a minute and be like, hey, okay, well, let's, Let's look at this and make sure we're clear on what our whys are and also have a really good kind of definition of what really constitute success for us and being able to, to live a fulfilling life. Right. And maybe that's an agency that, you know, only, to, you know, maybe that's an agency that does six figures or just, you know, 300,000. I mean, that you can live a pretty comfortable life with an agency that does, you know, 300 to 400,000. And you're, you know, and you have a relatively small team and yeah, maybe you're working in the business a little more than you want to, but really you're like, what, like the reality is that's a pretty sweet gig, right? Pretty sweet gig. I think, I think there's an important distinction to make here though. Like, even if that is what you, you decide on, you're not going to, I mean, that decision really isn't a decision to not stop growing, right? Like you're not going to stop growing completely. The decision that you're making there at that point is to be more strategic about how you grow. Because in the beginning, when you're you're setting up grassroots, right? You're you're in your 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 spare bedroom at your house, or you're in your bedroom and you're you're building your agency. 
you have to do everything you can to try to get traction, everything, you know, and that could be yeah. making calls, sending emails, walking into businesses, like all of those things. And when you get to that level of maybe you, you know, you reach uh, 50,000 in recurring revenue or whatever, you have to make a de decision. If you want to keep operating in that way, maybe I need to start building a team in order to grow. Maybe I need to start focusing on one service rather than 10. Maybe I need to uh, focus on one prospecting method rather than five. And the same thing is, you know, when you get to six figures, you get to a million. It's not just it's not just that you're throwing in the towel. And I don't think people should. I, I think the distinction to make there is you have to continue to be strategic in how you want to grow. So whether that's, you know, focusing down on one method and letting that method develop and evolve and really letting it go or, you know, uh, narrowing down your focus and bringing in more people to help your reach. You know, building a team is a huge, crucial piece. You know, I made the decision in our agency recently to go from, you know, s uh, a small, smaller operation that was doing well, bringing in uh, multiple six figures in revenue with very little time investment for that six figures. I mean, you know, I, I said for the last year and a half, two years, about 10% of my time. And that's that's what it has been. So at that point, we made the decision to say, well, if we want to do a million in the agency, we might have to invest a little bit more time, you know. And so that that decision there can also only be temporary, right? We invest time, we hire people, we build more systems, we step back out. I, you know, after this morning, I was on a call with all of our, our Google Ads team, our, our new account coordinators our sales rep, our project manager. And I was listening to the way that they were talking about the client results that we had just in our Google ad campaigns. And, you know, I was like, maybe these guys don't even need me here right now. Like <laughs> it's actually yeah. working good. Maybe I can leave again. And so, you know, that 10% of my time, it moved to 25% or 50%. And you can get it to a point where you're like, okay, now I can step away again. You know, so these decisions aren't permanent either, you know, and I think it, it's important to, to know that you're just being strategic and they're usually only temporary. Yeah. And the big thing to remember there is, like you said, the, the hardest part of it, like, like if you're trying to move a freight train, which a business can be like a freight train, right? Man, the hardest part is when that thing is at a standstill and you've got to push it with everything, every way you can. You've got to like beg, borrow, bring in anybody you can to help you just like to just get that thing moving so that as it starts, you know, and once it starts moving, it's a little more and a little more and a little more. So, you know, we don't want to try to downplay the effort and everyone should be aware that when you're building a business, any kind of business, I don't care what type of business it is, it takes effort and it takes things to get it going. Even the, even the quote, internet marketing business that I mean, like how many conversations do we have when we started doing this and we were like, Oh my God, like, this is not what everybody makes it out to be. <laughs> like it was freaking a lot of work, right? Like a lot of work. And it's, it still is a lot of work, but again, it's different, right? And it's a, a different kind of work and based on where you're going and all that stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. it's a good point. Dorn says that uh, I'm just in the way and you know, that's, that's, I don't, I'm, I'm very, I try to be very aware of if I am and when I am. And I mean, I, I can, I can tell you right now, there are, divisions of what we're doing where I am purposefully not involved because I'm probably am in the way, you know, <laughs> I probably am stifling growth. Anybody that has worked with me knows that like, I can be a little aggressive with like trying to get shit done and, and have good follow-up, right? Like, like any good yeah. business owner should, you got to have good follow-up. And <laughs> whether that is with your clients, with your projects, with your teammates, with your sales, whatever it is, follow-up is key but you do need to know when you are in the way and you're stifling growth. So, yeah. Um, yeah. We should well, talk about that. Audit. Kind of, let's get back to kind of what we're talking about yeah. on the, the, the live show here too. Cause we're going to talk about <laughs> automation using software. There's a lot of different AI tools coming out. We're actually, uh, we brought one of the sharks this week, our friend, Josh Zamora. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a software that we have uh, talked about before. It actually, um, we actually integrated it with our agency growth machine influencer websites. It's called Cindio. Um, but now he's got uh, Cindio 3, which combines some AI tools so that 
So one of the nice things about Cindio, Cindio is an autoresponder, right? Which is one of the first ways you can start to free up a little bit of your time when it comes to prospecting. And, and basically, for those of you that don't know, everybody sh uh, probably should know on here, but an autoresponder is a piece of software that allows you to load in messages, usually email. Typically, they're email messages and then schedule those things out. So, you know, you can you can run a seven day sequence, a 14 day sequence, a 60 days. Like it's really just limited by what you want to do. And if you pre write. So, again, you front load the work, you write your messages, you get everything set up, you load them in. And then when somebody drops into the autoresponder, they fill out a form on your agency side or you add them to the list they're uh, they're put in that sequence right and they get set sequences and then you can send out what are called broadcasts which are like one off messages you can have um you know set sequences a lot of times like we'll have uh like if you're a member of agency growth machine we have like a uh what do we call it like a, a seven day welcome sequence that everybody goes through that kind of tells them who we are and what we're doing and what we have going on um, and then, you know, then they start to get broadcast. There can be other little sequences you do, like maybe you want to, uh, maybe you're looking to bring in more uh, Google ads clients. So you could run, you know, a three or four day case study campaign where you talk about a client that you, you're doing Google AdWords for or results they're getting and how you can do that for these types of businesses, that type of stuff. So that's typically what an autoresponder autoresponder does. If you get our emails from offline sharks, that's what we use there, right? We have an autoresponder. We write those messages, load them in, and then they go out. Um, but the nice thing about the, or the different thing about Cindio, what kind of makes it unique is it doesn't just deal with email. It also deals with SMS. So you can do uh, automated SMS messages. And it also lets you automate Facebook Messenger, right? Um, Facebook Messenger. And that's what, that's kind of what it has done up to this point, right? So you could automate these messages, different things you're doing there. But, uh, you know, with all the AI stuff that's going out, Josh has added an AI engine into the back of this thing so that now Cindio can actually write the sequences and the messages for you, right? So, um, and that is really, like, that's really nifty and can save you a lot of time. So that's why we brought it back to the Sharks and... Um, you know, we'll put a link up. You guys can go check it out. We have a bonus package, all that stuff we'll talk about later. So don't worry about that. We'll give you the link. But it is one of the one of the uh, more inexpensive ways to start removing yourself out. And I saw Les said, how many can you put in sequence? You can have a sequence as long as you want, right? Like, can, can I ask a question? Um, how many of you have actually played with some of these uh, artificial intelligence tools like OpenAI, ChatGPT, uh, Jarvis was kind of like the precursor, but now they're Jasper, a little more. Now it's called Jasper. Ja oh, sorry, sorry. It was called Jarvis. Now yeah. it's called Jasper. It, it's it's uh, that was like the beginning, right? Now you have the ability to get a little more sophisticated with the inputs. So yep. I've been using it. I've been using it a lot. I mean, there's there's a lot of use cases for me as a business owner to be using it. And so, you know, when you think about being able to integrate that with your email, however you're, because at the end of the day, every agency owner should have an email list going, you know, whether you, whether you have a huge email list or you just have the five people you have sold a website to, they should all be on an email list. Like whether it's five people or 300 or 3000, they should all be somewhere. You need to start collecting that information because I promise you, if you stick around in this community, you're going to grow. You're going to get your, your customer list by itself, not even your lead list, is going to continue to grow as you continue to do this. And so if you're not collecting that information, you're, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot because eventually you're going to need and want to speak to those people from a one to many type of channel, right? Not sending you know, your first customer an email and asking them a question. You want to send him and the other 30 people you've ever done business with all at once. So you should definitely be building a list. This special offer for Sendio is amazing because it's it's totally worth it in terms of the price. Because, I mean, we, and we don't have one autoresponder in, in our business. I mean, in the agency, we have multiple. And even in Offline Sharks, Remote Millionaires, I mean, how many, how many do we have on the IM side, Tom? We have- Oh three? man, I don't know. We've got quite a few. 
because there's different use cases, right? We use them yeah. for different things. Some have different technology. Some have different flexibility. Cool thing about what, what Josh is doing with this is it integrates that AI that, and a lot of you are using that stuff, integrates it with the email, the email journey, right? That you can be putting people through for your agency or for your prospecting, which is nice. And so, yeah, I mean, think about that, everybody, like being able to add that in your email. It's pretty exciting. I mean, it's kind of scary too. Yeah. It makes and then, this is some, too, just like we were talking about with growing the business that I don't know who this is. This is pretty funny. He said, can we use AI for a salesperson? Laugh out loud. I mean, and I think this is something that you have to watch out for when you're looking at these various tools and your expectations of what they can do for you and your business, right? Like there's only a certain point that the tools and the software can take you. Like you still have to apply your entrepreneurial smarts and your understanding of prospecting and doing those various things to these tools. That's where you get the powerful combination, right? Like they're not, I mean, I know, it, you know, I know the, the, um, they can make it sound like, oh, it's just an easy button, right? Like you just do this. You don't have to do anything. Like you're still going to have to put some thought and strategy and things into, into these. But if you do that, they can be extremely helpful. So uh, I know we'll, we'll talk some more about this in a minute, but I got sidetracked and I got you talking before you talked about the audit. Yeah. Because maybe you can talk about that a little bit because this can be right. a really powerful tool when you mix it in with something like, Cindio 3.0 and a sequence and things like that, where, mm -hmm. you know, somebody uh, fills out a form or you reach out to them and offer to do an, uh, like, there's some good ways that you can use the, these two things together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody asked about what are the costs other than the monthly costs involved. And I, I actually don't, one of the reasons why this is such a great offer right now is he opened it up to have no monthly fee. I think there's like a, it's just a one-time charge for the initial front end product, which is packed with value. I mean, we've also created a bonus package, everybody, um, to go with it. So it's a, it's a great offer. Um, anyway, with the, with the audit. So it really kind of comes back to the industry. You know, this is a tax professional. This is a CPA, a professional business, professional service type business. And, you know, these are Professionals, anybody working with those types of businesses? Maybe you can help me with some niches, Tom. Tax professionals, attorneys, doctors. Chiropractors. Um, chiropractors. Um, we got CPAs. Uh, veterinarians is one. We got a veterinarian client. And the reason we like them is because generally they have a healthy budget. They have a healthy budget and they're not trying to do their own marketing. I mean, let's be honest. You know, my the the farm, like we have a, we have an interesting client that is a, half human, half pet pharmacy. They do both, which is, I don't know. Is that shady? They sell animals, animal supplements and human supplements. Seems a little weird. <laughs> Either way, um, they're a great client. You know, they don't, they don't ever ask any questions. They just need help and they pay their bills. And so same thing goes with, you know, tax professionals. We've had a number of CPA bookkeeper clients over the years. And in this case, the audit that we got back, the invoice we got back today was for an audit on a CPA's website. And so what we're going to do there is really it's and that's just that's just the beginning for us. You know, on their end, they think we're going to show them how they can fix their website to be optimized for ranking in Google search, but also conversions for website visitors, people to visit their website and turn into tax paying clients or, or people that want them to file their taxes. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go into the website and we're going to follow, uh, you know, a standard operating procedure that we have to identify why this website isn't ranking. And we're going to put that information together in a brief for them, a Google document, and we are going to make suggestions to them. And we're going to, we're going to, pack that audit with value as much value as we possibly can so much value to the point where they're going to be blown away like wow we had no idea that we needed all this information that we're leaving this much on the table we absolutely need help with this i know we hired you to do the audit but is there any way you can just fix all this for us because it's way more than we thought we had like that's the angle that's the strategy and so it does start out with the audit we get a lot of people on our ads that are like talking smack about $450 clients and stuff like that. But you know, they don't see that really the $450 is just 
the foot in the door because we're going to put them on a thousand dollar per month client. And here's a special or a thousand dollar per month retainer. Here's a special offer. The four hundred dollars can go toward the first month. Boom, they're in. You know, the audit fee yeah. can go towards the first month if you want to do it that way, or you can charge them the full thousand to get it started. The you know the four fifty was for the audit. It's going to be a thousand to to have us continue to do our entire package of search engine optimization for you each month. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I know people are asking lots of questions about Cindio. We'll get to that stuff here in a minute. Um, I did want to answer a question real quick. Zachary's uh, Smosh. Good to see you, Zach. Zach. He asked something at the beginning, and I want to just get this real quick. He said, um, he asked about our the mailer, the CCSU course, if you can do it in, in multiple cities. And Zach, so just to answer this real quick, um, you can do it in multiple cities. So there's a couple of, uh, I mean, one way you can do it is like we, inside that course, we have some recommendations of printers. And so you can, you know, use the online EDDM tool to pick the route you want in a city. And then you can have the printer print them and then mail them to the various post offices. So you don't have to physically go there. So yes, you can do that. The challenge with doing it in multiple cities is always the sales part. You have to have a good, like, how are you going to do sales in those individual locations? Are you going to be targeting them with, you know, phone sales? Are you going to be, are you going to have a person on the ground in each location? Um, that's the real challenge of doing cities that are far apart, right? That's you why AI. I, what's that? You're going to use AI <laughs> yeah. to start well, doing your email and text messaging automations. Yep. I mean, well, I bet I mean, you, you it, could it sell. It could be a challenge just because you don't have a physical location. And so like, I think sometimes, you know, you have to just take into account like, well, what size of a team and how many people do you need to be able to do that effectively, right? Because I know just like when doing it myself, working one city can be, you know, like that can take up a lot of time. And so I would always stick to think places that were close so that I didn't have far to go and things like that. So, but yeah, right. anyway, got that for you. I wanted to answer that real quick. Um, let's, uh, let's do some shark shout outs and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at our, this bonus package and we'll answer some more questions, questions and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, all right. I'm going to, and we have a member of the week this week, so we're going to get on there. So I'm going to share my screen here. Boom. Oh, wait. No, no, there we go. Boom. There we got it. So uh, our shout outs this week, we start off with Jonathan. Jonathan sold a cleaning website and local SEO for $1,294. Tom. Great win. Yeah. It's a huge win. One thing I just thought of is like, maybe for, for once we should tell people to actually go to this post right now. We just posted oh, this, yes. all the shout outs in the group. We never do this. We just wait till the end and give away money. But we usually give away money on all of our live streams. And all you have to do is go to this post right now in the Facebook group and congratulate these people that we're shouting out in the comments. And then at the end of the stream, we're going to pick a couple people at random that have congratulated them just for participating in this community and send you some cash app money. So go ahead and do that now. And we we never tell people to do that. We just do it at the end. So yeah. switch it up if you today. Go to, you can find it if you just go to offlinesharks.com forward slash shout outs. It'll take you right yeah. to the post. Right to the post. Awesome. Okay. Uh, next up, Michael. Michael sold a website package with logo design, website hosting and maintenance, $1,150. He sold another website, $2,000 plus website redesign for $550. Total of $3,700 with another package on the table for $1,150 from the first client. That's awesome. Uh, a great one there. Uh, let's see. Next up is Joanne. Joanne sold an e-commerce website. Uh, 3,368 Australian. So she subcontracted the site build uh, and the ad of the 60 products for 800. So think wow. about that. She sold it for 3,600 basically, and it cost her 800 to get it fulfilled. That's a pretty darn good profit margin. That's pretty that's good. Killer. And I think I saw Joanne said in the, uh, I think it was Joanne who put a post that said like when she woke up, the client like paid for everything in advance, which was a surprise. She thought they were just going to do a deposit. So those kinds of clients are out there. 
Our Megalodon, Mr. Dorn Britton, sold a site speed optimization for $500 and outsourced it for $110. Another Put good profit the, margin, right? Put in the door strategy? $90. Dorn, that's going to be a great SEO lead too, right? You're going to start out with the site speed optimization and be like, here you go. Here it is. Look how much we've improved your site speed. It's super fast. By the way, while we were doing that, we found these other things that you might want to look at as well because you're already clearly interested in fixing your website. That is one of our good foot in the doors, site speed. That is. Uh, oh, and a shout out to Mr. Nick Ponte. They closed a 5000 a month PPC campaign for an activity company in Hawaii. This one came in as a lead to the website through organic ranking. So what does that mean? Nick came in as a lead through the website through organic ranking. Yeah. So on our agency website, you know, we've, we have practiced what we preach for years. We've been doing search engine optimization to our agency site. And so this client happened to find us on the internet. You know, they were searching for uh, Maui Google, like a, a term related to Google ads. And they're actually going to turn into, I just, spoke with Megan and she said that they, they actually want our, uh, our mid tier SEO package, which will be, you know, anywhere from 2000 to 2,500. So, I mean, that one client alone is going to be pretty solid. Um, yeah. And they came in by way of, uh, you know, finding us, finding us. So, and I said this in my post in the group, if you don't know how to do search engine optimization, the best place to start is on your own website because you learn how to do it. But then you also get to rank your own website. And eventually, you know, you can get leads like this. Yeah. And, you know, I'm glad you mentioned that because it's the same thing with what we're talking about with the autoresponders and, and, and these kind of software tools, too. Like, because you talked about even if you only have a list of five people and like I, what I see a lot of people do is they get frustrated because they they start building a list and the floods of people don't come in like they expect. Right. <laughs> They don't wake up the next day and have thousands of people on their list. So they just stop doing it. But like, if you go back and look at, I mean, like if you go back and look at us pre pandemic, like right when COVID started, we started actively building a list of Hawaii businesses and we've just been doing it every single day, day in and day out since then. And now we have this, really good sized list of actively engaged people that we're emailing on a regular basis, but it didn't just happen in a week, right? Like it takes time. Same thing with the SEO. Like you're putting in this, you're again, I'm going to use this word. You're front loading the work. You're front loading some work so that it pays off down the road. But if you stop doing the work because you think, Oh, well, this isn't working. You're, you're never going to get into it. What is it that they say? Uh, uh, they say, don't, don't stop before the miracle happens. Right, Nick? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's the same thing with prospecting and these and building these assets that we're talking about. Like, you just have to continue to do them consistently day in and day out, day in and day out. And, uh, and eventually, eventually it starts to pay off. So, and, and it catches up too. you know, it compounds in many ways, like the list, for example, for, for Hawaii Thrive, for the agency, you know, there's a, there's a, a somebody that I know here that just started a business. It's like a passion project. It's 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 a for-profit business for him, but it has a a great messaging to it that he's really trying to um market. And so, you know, what I I want to help him out. Um I'm going to do a shout out in our our weekly newsletter that we send out to Hawaii Thrive. Like we still do that. We've been doing that since the beginning. We haven't talked about that very much behind closed doors, but I mean, we're going to do a shout out. We're going to send him in our email blast to thousands of businesses in Hawaii. That's a great thing to be able to do for somebody, you know? And I mean, some people pay, like they charge for those email blasts because, you know, it's a very targeted audience of businesses in a specific area. You know, you can plug your own agency within those emails to offer your services. We've gotten a lot of clients from that. Somebody on our team looks to see who's opening the emails and anybody that's actually opening the emails and clicking on the links, she will go look them up and look at their website and shoot a loom video and audit their website and send it to them because we found that those people are interested. They know us. They've obviously, they trust us enough to open our emails and read them and click on the links. Well, they'll probably be a good fit to help out. So, you know, there, it's not just 
it's not just the number of the people on the list. It's also what you do to that list to nurture them and turn them into customers over time. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I know, I know he's not on here and I don't know if that's, I can't remember if he hasn't closed the deal yet or what, but like, I do want to give a, a, a shout out to Lucas sales. Who's an, a remote millionaires member because he's a great example of what we're talking about these past few weeks about consistency and just keep doing it. Like Lucas has a, a regular job. So he's working a regular job. He's doing remote millionaires on the weekend. He's one of the, the few members that religiously, <clears throat> I mean, religiously posts an accountability check-in every week, right? Every week he comes in and he posts like, I did this, I did that. I did. And every week it's been like, I did this, I did that. I didn't get any results. Now I'm changing this. I'm working on this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do, I'm going to work to do this next time. Every week he's been doing that. And finally, the other day, he got a bite. Somebody is interested, right? Like, and he's just kept doing it. So it's like, man, like, that's what we're talking about. Like that type of, like, I know Lucas is going to win because he's just not going to, like, he just shows no signs of giving up, no matter what kind of results he's getting, right? Like he just keeps moving forward and doing the basic stuff of, holding himself accountable, looking at what he's doing, trying to figure out like, well, what's not working here. Now, of course we help him with that. He shares things, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, Lucas, uh, I'm anxious to hear about what happens with that, but a uh, really great example for other RM members and people in the community. So nice work. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That better. <laughs> said, how many people are on the offline sharks list? That is a closely guarded secret, Dorn. I wouldn't know, but the last <laughs> I time I looked, you. A lot. I mean, how many people? Well, and the agency too. Like, I don't even know how many people we have on the agency list. Like, thousands. Eh, yeah. Thousands. Anyway, uh, awesome. So, for those of you that are keeping track at home, that brings this week's total to $13,049 for the week of February 4th through February 10th. The grand total, $191,215 since the start of 2023. Remember, last year we did $1.6 million. We want to get to 3 million this year. So get out there, start taking some action, get consistent. Let's close some deals. Let's get these numbers up. Um, <clears throat> as I cough here, uh, what other else do we want to say about the shout outs before I go? Oh, well, go ahead. Post, post your deals too. You know, I know a lot yeah. of you out there are actually, you know, landing clients. You don't come to the Facebook group and actually talk about it. I mean, share it with us. We want to know. We want to shout you out. Make sure you do that. You know, be yes. a member of this community. It's a great place to be, you know? Yeah. And make sure to uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, Valentine's Day. Mm. Make sure you shout out your special someone. Do <laughs> something for them. Send them some flowers. Get them a card. I don't know. Do something. Don't let that go by. I mean, I know you're busy working and growing your business, but like take a minute and show some appreciation for the, I mean, I know my wife is like the freaking the backbone behind this, you know, behind the scenes. Like it's amazing all the stuff that she does to make it possible. And in the beginning, all the things she did to make it possible for me to do what I wanted to do. So make sure you acknowledge those people. Uh, all right. We also have to do a, you hear that Sloan? If you don't get flowers, it's not my fault. <laughs> She's at work. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hey, text look, you right now. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, Jeff Tompkins had his springboard was going through his storage and finding Pokemon items worth more than $30,000. Now he's using that to uh, invest in some shark marketing ideas for exposure as potential buyers. Wow. Man. That's great. That's, that's great. Freaking incredible. <laughs> look, Cameron said he told his wife Valentine's Day is canceled lunch week. That's my, that's my, that's my man right there. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. It's like uh, we're on the no, team flowers, team. flowers are definitely there in the cards for sure. And it, it'll be flowers. It's launch week. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like, and I'm sorry, it's launch week and it's Valentine's Day. Here are flowers, you know, two. I just never will forget that time when we were first starting to work together and do all this stuff. And you're like, what are you doing tomorrow? And I was like, dude, it's Christmas. <laughs> like, we're not doing anything tomorrow. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And look, and look where we are now. Look where we are now. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, okay. All right. Um, I do want to send out a special acknowledgement to our member of the week. So every week we have a member of the week. It can uh, just be somebody who's a good steward of the Facebook community. We send them this little shark's treasure chest you see on my shelf back here. And uh, it's got a lot of great goodies in it. A lot of things to help you do the things we talk about on this show. Little reminders, uh, things like that. Trinkets, Secrets. success tools. Yeah, Secrets. Um, Pretty awesome. Nobody really knows what's inside unless you get one. So keep the secret if you get one. But this week, uh, let me find this. This week. Our member of the week is, here we go, share the screen. So many more buttons to click. Michael Mott. Close the Michael. number of goals and share them with the community. So Michael, congratulations. Somebody from the team is going to reach out to you. We'll get your address and we'll get that sent off to you. So what does it go. say? He closed a roofer? He No, he closed. It says closed a number of deals and shared them with the community. Ah. He's a, was in our first uh, shout out, right? That's right. That's right. Yep. yep. So he is right here with the the multiple website deals. So awesome. nicely done. Appreciate and by the way, next week, you're going to be hearing us talk a lot more about that. We have a new course coming out next Friday, the 17th. It's called uh, Professional Services Payday. You're going to be hearing a little more about it this week. We'll talk about it next week, all that stuff. But it's really about this exact thing, using websites and professional services to close more deals. So you guys are going to like that as well. Uh, okay, somebody wanted us to go through the bonuses on Cindio. So <clears throat> pardon me. Let me find this. I'm going to... Pull up this page and we'll run through these real quick. And then maybe we'll talk about some. Dorn Dor says we need a training on how to deal with our spouses. Yeah, Dorn, do you think you can have Lucy come do that for us, please? <laughs> <laughs> Her advice would be just whack him upside the head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell yeah. him to get it together. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Keeps going in line. That's good. Um, okay. So this is, uh, oh, when you go to. Oh, I bet Lucy uses all kinds of Jedi mind tricks and NLP on Dorn like all day. <laughs> yeah. like, you need to mow the yard. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't. Oh, yeah. She's like, yes, you do. <laughs> When's the I last time you actually made a decision, Dorn? <laughs> like, that's probably for forever ago, right? Yeah. Forever ago. <laughs> uh oh, Patty said, congrats, Magic Mike. I know what movie Patty's going to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, okay. <laughs> Doran said, you have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. Um, so when you go to the link that you see on the page there, offlinesharks.com forward slash Cindio3, it's going to drop you off on this. Uh, this is our bonus page. Just kind of goes over the bonuses that we're including. Uh, they're free. All you have to do is pick up Cindio through the green button you see on this page, and you'll get them. They're delivered. I think he did this through JVZoo. So they're delivered right into your JVZoo account. There's a link in there so you can get them. Uh, if you have any issues with bonus delivery or anything like that, our support team, which is awesome, is always around. You just go to offlinesharks.com forward slash support, put in a ticket, and they'll get you squared away ASAP. Um, you know, back to kind of what we were talking about at the beginning, right? Like all the software tools, all the things that you're doing in your business, like, it really comes down at the end of the day to really great customer service. And you'll notice in all the businesses we do, whether it's the agency or at Offline Sharks, we really put a lot of effort into delivering a great customer experience. So remember that and model that when you're doing whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, so here's the bonuses and maybe you can uh, talk about some of these. So we've got some email prospecting sequences that we're including. So we have seven of these. We've got a auto repair, an electrician, insurance, a painter, a plumber, a roofer, and a salon. Um, so you can just load these in and use them. There may be some light editing on your part, right? Um, but they're ones we've used for clients in the past. Uh, our, and that, what is that? Like a, oh, a $747 value. Uh, we've got some high quality niche specific lead magnets. So a lot of times we'll send these, you know, we talked about this last week, right? even though we don't niche down in the agency, when we're going after certain types of clients, we, we want to present to them, like this is what we do is work in your niche. That makes sense? So lead magnets are one of the ways we do that. So if we're say targeting roofers, then we'll send them this roofer lead magnet. And it, 
it's basically these three lead magnets are all the things we do, but specialized towards this specific industry. So we have three of these. They're a $450 value. You get those. Uh, you get a three-part lead magnet autoresponder delivery sequence. So this is another one that you can load in, right? And uh, well, For those lead magnets too, right? For those right? lead so magnets, you, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so when people take your lead magnet, you have the follow-up that helps nurture them to you know get on a call. Yeah, so there's a couple of ways we use these, right? You can just have these on your website or you can make a specific page for them and you can uh, email, text, whatever, and send you know, potential prospects in these markets to those pages and they'll opt in for it. And then this, that triggers the sequence that they get. That's one way. Another way that you can do it that we do is we will use these lead magnets as uh, the call to action on a Facebook ad. So we'll run Facebook ads to um, plumbers. And when they download the lead magnet, they get the email sequence. And then that goes to our appointment center who does a follow-up and a reach out and we'll generate leads that way as well. Uh, and then, so then you have this sequence, then you've got, uh, oh, this is another thing that Cindio does that I didn't even mention. It does voice drops. So for those of you that don't know what a voice drop is, you know, like you look at your phone and you have a message, but you, it, it never rings. So it basically just delivers a message to their, in, uh, to their voicemail. And you can have those messages be, uh, to call you back or, or something like that. So we have five professionally written voice drop scripts. It's a $250 value. We're including those. So you, you're prepared and ready to go for that. Uh, we've also have a little training that we did. That's called how to sell email marketing services as an agency. So this is another thing you can do, right? Like you can use the autoresponders and these things for yourself, but you can also implement these things for clients. Cause I know to a lot of us that are in the, the online world, the digital marketing space, like autoresponders to, to a lot of us are just like, oh yeah, who, who do, everybody uses those. Well, guess what? Everybody does not use those. <laughs> Most businesses have no idea what the hell you're talking about. So you can oftentimes go into a local business and offer to implement an autoresponder in their business and help them set something up like this for themselves. You know, uh, I used to have an auto repair client who had all these names on their list and they were not emailing them regularly. No emails, no nothing. Like they had no idea how to even do it. So that's actually a service you can sell. So a very basic skill when you're in digital marketing, but for most business owners, when you talk about autoresponders, funnels, call to actions, copywriting, like it's just like, text message marketing, like they have no idea that any of that stuff really uh, exists. So, and if they do know it exists, they have no idea how to do it. So that can be a plus for you. And then uh, Josh and the Cindio team threw in a bunch of bonuses as well. You get uh, an agency license. Uh, I mean, that's like a thousand dollar value. You get some Twitter, a Twitter autoresponder, the ringless voicemail drops. He's got some training sessions and some step-by-step -step training to set everything up. So you get all this stuff. It's over $3,400 in value. All you do is click this button here, the big green button, and that takes you to the sales page for Cindio. You can see everything it does, what the deal is. Um, and if you click this, just like uh, Nick said, you'll see that there's zero monthly fees, right? And there's a little video from Josh here, talks about everything it does. You can look over all this stuff now. And then when you purchase it through here, you'll get these shark bonuses as long as you come through that page that I just showed you. So go to offlinesharks.com forward slash Cindio3. You can get on there and you can see that. And uh, yeah, awesome. Yeah, Sandy's asking if it's uh, complicated to set up. <clears throat> Do you make calls with Twilio? Yes. Can you send email through your site, SMTP? Yes. I would say, I mean, complicated is such a, you know, what's complicated for one person may be totally easy for another person. But here's what I do know, Sandy. Josh and his team have a lot of support and they do a lot of really good showing you how to do it. So probably the most complicated thing in it would be um, setting up the SM, uh, did I say it right? SM, SMTP. 
Look, if Tom can do it, you can do it. Right. Yeah. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, <laughs> but there is like, look, if you look on our bonus page here, uh, I would say that's probably going to be, it's you know, not, that's probably one of the, what somebody might consider complicated. But listen, Josh it's not has, complicated. They're step-by-step -step videos to set it yeah, up. Yeah, but it's there is this. That's what I was going to show you. This part right here, they've got some step-by-step -step training, but I don't think you'll have any problems with it, Sandy. No. I don't think anybody in our community really should have many problems with it, but no. you know, that's a killer bonus package. Everybody. I, I highly recommend that you go check it out. You know, this is a launch, right? So you have to be aware that it is on a special launch pricing. Of course. Uh, I haven't, I don't think, I mean, actually I know that Josh has not offered Sendio with, without a monthly fee before. I think there were a bunch of credits or, or there was some sort of monthly tag associated with it last time. And it didn't have the AI element, right? The AI element. Like if, you, if you've been using AI and you've been finding it helpful to stuff that you've been doing now, for me, I know I have. I've written a whole lot with it. There's, there's no way, you know that there's no way that that thing wouldn't give you a huge, huge advantage to your email prospecting and, and emails, you know, your ongoing sequences. I mean, if you're like me, I really struggle to write. You know, I have to sit. I had to learn how to write when I started to become a business owner. Like this Facebook group was where I actually learned how to write. Like I write like trash normally. Like my grammar's <laughs> off. I don't even know how to construct sentences. By nature, I speak pidgin English because uh, I grew up in Hawaii. You know, we have poor grammar, poor educational system. That was me. You know, so I had to come in here and start learning how to write in this Facebook group. And now with AI, I'm like, see, I didn't need to learn that crap all along. <laughs> like, here we are. <laughs> and and I mean, uh, I've been using that thing like crazy. So to be able to add that in your emails and your outreach and your, your, your nurturing sequences, like those are exactly the types of things that I use it for. And so should you, if you're that type of person too. So go check it out. There's a link there at the bottom of the screen. Chris, yeah. Chris says my pigeon isn't as, as we're, <laughs> anywhere as near as bad as hers. Chris, I've worked really hard to be able to hide that. I still, I mean, you know, I still rock it with my family and, and friends, though. <laughs> it's pretty, you know, it's funny, Nick. Here, people like I want to meet people. Like, there's so much, there's a lot of Hawaiian people here. So, like, people will start. Like, I was messaging Sophie started a volleyball team. And I was like, oh, yeah, I lived on Maui. And they were like, oh, brother. They were like texting me. <laughs> like, I was like, they're going to be a little disappointed when I show up and they figure out I'm a Howley. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, who are, where's Tom? We thought like, we had a uh, milk uncle coming here. <laughs> That's yeah, funny. awesome. Well, look, man, it was a really awesome live show. Uh, really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I saw this thing from, you know, Andy. Andy Powell had a message about remote millionaires. He's talking about niching down his agency and wondering if the program is a good fit for him. Uh, Andy, man, the best thing I could tell you to do is like, why don't you, um, you know, let's set up a time and chat and see if it's a good fit, right? Like we got a lot of really great stuff in there. A lot of things to help you do that. And, uh, you know, maybe it makes sense. Maybe it doesn't, but we can definitely talk about it and, and, and help guide you in that direction. So maybe, uh, maybe somebody from our team will reach out and, uh, can answer any questions and stuff like that for you. So awesome. Tom, Look, oh, yep. Did you see that from Cameron? Where? Cameron gave us a final note. And uh, for anybody that's interested in, you know, next week uh, in getting more updates with our professional services payday offer that we have, I'm going to change the link. It's kind of a lot of things, but we'll do it anyway. If you go to uh, professionalservicespayday.com, you can get on the announcement list so you can oh. get notified as soon as it becomes available. Yeah, drop that in the comments too. Yeah, we'll put that in the comments for you as well. I know there's a lot of things there. Sendio's a great offer. We have our announcement <laughs> list coming up for the other launch. Um, Never a shortage of, a of stuff of, going on, right? Yeah, a lot of exciting things going on in our community. It's one of the reasons why it's such an awesome community, right? We stay yeah. ahead. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, we got to do, uh, yeah. we got to do one more thing. We got to do one more thing. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, money,
Man, I Nick thought we were going to get out of there, you know, not not have to yeah, uh, open um, up the wallet again. Forget. So our two winners that congratulated our uh, shout out post are Mikhail LaHaye. I totally said that wrong. And Chris Watanabe, fellow fellow Woo! Hawaiians over here. Congratulations. Congratulations. Somebody from our team will be reaching out. Uh, you got some cash app money coming your way. They'll get your handle. Blown Mikhail's name almost looks Hawaiian too. His last name is Lahaie, but it could also not be Hawaiian. And I just totally gave you a Hawaiian <laughs> last name. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, look, another great live show. We really appreciate you guys taking time to hang out with us and, uh, and be here. Really great questions. Really, really awesome interaction. We appreciate it. We're going to be here next Friday. It's going to be launch day. So there'll be lots of stuff going on. Um, but same shark time, same shark channel. Uh, keep an eye out for the emails. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, stay safe during the Super Bowl. We didn't even talk about the Super Bowl. Stay safe during the Super Bowl and uh, have a good Valentine's Day, everybody out there, and we'll see you next week. Aloha. You've been watching the Aloha Marketing Jam Session, your weekly marketing live show, always bringing you the latest strategies and tactics to build your remote empire from anywhere in the world. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this stream. You can stay up to date throughout the week with the Remote Millionaires podcast at remotemillionaires.com slash podcast and Nick's YouTube videos at nickponte.com slash YouTube. We'll be back here next Friday for another live show. Until then, aloha. Aloha.